everybody, I'm Eugene Cap, and this is Cap Design TV, and today I have another exciting tutorial for you. It's actually more of like a tip, just because how simple and easy this is. Now, if you've ever taken videos before, sometimes you'll find that there are certain objects in the scene that you wish you had moved prior to filming, and this actually happens a lot. So, what I want to show you guys is a very easy to use tool in Adobe After Effects. Now, what I have here is a simple composition with a clip of my buddy Julian. Now, Julian wanted to film on a completely red background, except for you have this object here, and then a little object here that we now need to remove. So what I want to introduce you to is the clone stamp tool. And you can do this by hitting curl B or hitting this icon up here. Then from there you will tap on your clip. Now if you've ever used Photoshop, you should be actually be really familiar with this tool. And it's basically you hit alt, find an area you want to pull from and then you start making your change. Now I've actually taken this brush and I've set it down to 50% flow 100 normal all the constants and yeah it should be perfect and now what I'll do because I'm only doing it at 50% I am blending the area and by blending the area it helps hide the fact that you're using the clone stamp tool just a little bit better. And you just go over it several times and surely enough it will disappear. Now it does take a couple of strokes over. When you're done, that object has now disappeared. Now let's go ahead and do the other area. Again, 50%. It just makes it all blend. And when you're done, you can get out. You have this fabulous area with those objects removed. And it's just that easy. Anyway, I hope you learned something. If you did, hit the like button. If you've seen more than one of these tutorials before, be sure to hit the subscribe button. We're now in a relationship. Let's make it official. I'm Eugene, this is Cap'n Design TV. I'll see you in the next video. 